Some celebs are just not a fan of the Donald. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrity Trump enemies. But with me, we fight back. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at the celebrities that have publicly spoken out against Donald Trump, both pre- and post-inauguration. However, we're excluding journalists and talk show hosts. He gives these very glib and superficial answers to very, very entrenched and very difficult problems. Number 10, Cher. You believe in life after love? Do you believe in life after love? Well, the goddess of pop certainly doesn't believe in Donald Trump. During the lead up to the election results, the American singer made her feelings perfectly clear on Twitter, comparing Trump to the likes of Adolf Hitler and Godzilla. Cher also stated that if he did manage to win, she would, quote, leave the planet. Like millions of others, she was devastated by the outcome, but has continued to try and keep people's spirits up, while also continually slandering President Trump every chance she gets. He's an asshole. Number nine, Mark Ruffalo. That guy's brain is a bag full of cats. You could smell crazy on him. An Academy Award-nominated actor and the man behind the Hulk, Mark Ruffalo was a huge advocate for Bernie Sanders, who lost the Democratic nomination to Hillary Clinton. Ruffalo also stood alongside his fellow Avengers in lashing out against Trump's words and actions. Aside from constantly roasting the Trump administration on Twitter, even declaring that Marvel takes more care with their scripts than Trump's White House does with its leaks, Ruffalo also spearheaded a mass protest outside the Trump International Hotel. We don't even think Loki got pummeled this badly. <laughs> Number 8. Sarah Silverman we all know this comedian can be absolutely brutal with her put-downs. While she certainly hasn't held back when it comes to her feelings about Donald Trump, she's also gone out of her way to make many poignant and emotional messages about how she feels his treatment of women and his brand of nationalism are toxic. But that USA's number one, USA's number one kind of fervor is, uh, it's so scary. Following Hillary Clinton's defeat, she went so far as to call on the military to overthrow Trump and encouraged others to join the self-proclaimed resistance movement. While tanks probably won't be blowing holes in the White House anytime soon, Silverman can take pride in knowing that for everyone out there comparing Trump to Hitler, she definitely managed to raise the bar. Like 90% of what he says, I'm like, this guy gets it. Number seven, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Out of all celebrities, did Donald Trump really think that taking on the Terminator was going to work out in his favor? Chill out, dickwad. While the two had taken issue with each other's policies in the past, the real feud began following the president's speech at the National Prayer Breakfast, where he decided to pray for Arnie given the failing ratings of his version of Celebrity Apprentice. And I want to just pray for Arnold if we can for those ratings, okay? The former governor of California responded with a video that may not have featured any explosions, but was a searing burn nonetheless. Why don't we switch jobs? You take over TV, because you're such an expert in ratings, and I take over your job, and then people can finally sleep comfortably again. We're guessing that's one less action hero Trump has in his corner. Hasta la vista, baby. Number six, Meryl Streep. While her countless performances have garnered critical acclaim, this Academy Award winner is now also notable for her anti-Trump speeches. When she received the Cecil B. DeMille Award at the 2017 Golden Globes, her acceptance speech came with a healthy helping of put-downs towards the new president. When the powerful use their position to bully others, we all lose. To which Donald Trump responded by calling her, quote, overrated. Of course, that has not slowed her down whatsoever, as she also let loose another zinger when the Human Rights Campaign graced her with the National Ally for Equality Award in February 2017. As you might expect, she took the opportunity to really let the condemnation flow. We will have much to thank this president for, because he will have woken us up to how fragile freedom really is. Number five, Michael Moore. This filmmaker hasn't held back when it comes to lashing out against the presidents of the past. But when it comes to Trump, Michael Moore has attacked him on all fronts, calling him a Russian traitor and asking him to vacate the White House on Twitter. Moore has written countless articles on Trump's past faults, all the while headlining anti-Trump protests in order to spread the word. 
He even released a documentary in 2016 entitled Michael Moore in Trumpland. Although the film wasn't a vicious attack on Trump per se. He is the human Molotov cocktail that they can legally throw. It was more of a pro-Hillary Clinton stand-up routine. Still, we wouldn't be surprised if Moore made a documentary all about President Trump in the near future. Number 4. Madonna one of the celebrities standing at the forefront of the Women's March in protest of Donald Trump's nomination, this pop queen was pumped and ready to take action. Rousing the crowd at the protest, she was caught up in some backlash given the fact that she stated that, quote, blowing up the White House might actually be a preferable course of action. Yes, I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. Despite the controversy that came from her comments, to which Donald Trump responded by labeling her, quote, disgusting. Yeah, honestly, she's disgusting. Madonna hasn't ceased the call to arms against the president. Another clash between these two is probably right around the corner. Number three, Alec Baldwin. It's pronounced Gina. <laughs> Possibly the one person who gets under Donald Trump's skin the most. This veteran actor is not only all too happy to ridicule him in public, but his portrayal of the president on Saturday Night Live has also become almost a modern classic. Google, <laughs> what is ISIS? Many have impersonated the billionaire over the years, but there's something about Baldwin's portrayal that people just love. And more importantly, it's something that Donald Trump just cannot stand. Do you have a message for Alec Well, I think I'm a much nicer guy than he's portraying. Since the Donald is frequently tweeting about how unfunny it is and how SNL is all the worse for it, we'd say that the performance definitely made its mark. Hey, hey, loser, you're a bad hombre. Uh, here come our tanks, prepare to go to war. Number two, Lady Gaga. When it came to Trump's shocking victory, you can bet that one of the first celebrities in line to speak out against it was none other than Lady Gaga. Following Hillary Clinton's loss in the election, Stephanie Joanne Angelina Germanotta began a protest outside Trump Tower, brandishing the sign, Love Trump's Hate, for hours on end. While she's been a bit less vocal since, many took note of her choice of opening song at her halftime Super Bowl performance in early February 2017, where she sang Woody Guthrie's This Land Is Your Land, a classic that's since become a staple song for anti-Trump protesters. This land is your land, this land is my land. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. What advice do you have for him? What should he not do? Not, he should not run for president. They've given him all this attention and finally they're starting to say, come on, Donald, this is ridiculous. Number one, Rosie O'Donnell. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only is Rosie several. O'Donnell. Considering their feud has been going on for over a decade now, it's safe to say that this actress is not a huge fan of the Donald. Their heated battle began over disputes regarding his handling of the Miss USA pageant, then spiraled into a series of insults traded over Twitter, with O'Donnell and Trump each slandering the other pretty much whenever they're in front of a camera. Things eventually spilled over into the presidential election, where O'Donnell took every chance possible to diminish Trump's character. Even after his win, Rosie continued to speak out against Trump, calling him, quote, mentally unstable. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.